Aloha. This is Johan Venardi, business mentor, social entrepreneur, online marketing branding coach, um, and net, a network marketer as a social entrepreneur. So guys, today, the, the, there's not really a question. Well, it's a question because people ask me what should I look for, and we all as network marketers want to have business builders, but we don't always know what to look for. So today I'm going to share with you the most common mistake that network marketers make when when um, looking for builders and leaders on their team. just got done with my workout still got my workout gear on gotta jump in the shower and then um, go don't and have some breakfast and go donate some blood all right so the question today is what do I need to look for in a leader or a builder when building my network marketing team period <laughs> so the most common mistake that people are making and I want to use um, something, um, let's use health and wellness for example. Most commonly people will invite people obviously to use their products if it's health and wellness, if they are into health and wellness, if people are into travel, you would uh, present them with a travel business. If people are into wine uh, big time, you would prevent, present them to the wine opportunity. There is like hundreds and hundreds of different network marketing companies, which is the new economy and what we also call the U economy. So here is the thing. Um, those people that like that, they're going to tell other people they're going to be good retailers of the product. And they will initially start a business, bring in everyone else that's into health and fitness. And you never know who they know. So you never want to throw them out, you know. But are they going to long term be motivated to build their business? And that is the biggest mistake that I see network marketers make when looking for people is they are looking too much for people who would love the product and use the product and just be excited about it than looking for people who are looking to be one, entrepreneurs, two, um, business builders, three, somebody that have a big dream and a big why and want to accomplish a lot with their life. Because what I have found in my experience is as a general rule, and I say this as a general rule, is that most people that join for the product and then get excited about it and share it with others do okay make a few hundred dollars a month, maybe even a few thousand a month. But most of them are not getting into the six figures and the big money because they are not looking for leaders or they are, but they're looking for the leaders in the wrong people. They're not reaching out to influential people, business builders, entrepreneurs, or people that have a strong entrepreneurial skill that's willing to prospect, 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 you know, market themselves, meet with people, talk with people, send videos out be you know hustlers you know go 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 <clears throat> and in the beginning even people who are crazy about the product are like that but people they, and then people who are willing to do personal development on a daily basis and develop their leadership and business skills those are the kind of people that you should be looking for when you are looking for business builders and leaders you should be looking for the person with the entrepreneurial spirit if the opportunity is good enough, it doesn't matter if it's wellness, travel, wine, superfoods, um, fitness, um, these there's <laughs> essential oils, makeup, you know, there's so many different ones. It doesn't matter. Well, of course, there's got to be, they, they got to like the product and want to use the product, of course. I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? But the big thing is, is that what you need to look for is the person with the entrepreneurial spirit. And you need to decide where is this person hanging out? Where will you find this person? And where will you find the leader? Now, if you're only into making a few hundred or a few thousand dollars a month, hey, that's fine. Go for the people that's going to be your most loyal clients. 
of the users of the product and you need those as well by the way because you need to move product uh, because that's the lifeblood of business if there's no product sold nothing happens there's no money to be generated but if you're looking for leaders and for entrepreneurs and business builders look for those with the entrepreneurial spirit that is more joining your business for the income side of the opportunity and for the business building side the entrepreneurial side and that person who's got that big why that dream they want to accomplish then the, the person in sorry periscope mostly mainly looking at my facebook one year um, mainly look mainly looking for those people then for somebody looking for the product and how they can build the business out of now if you can find somebody let's say you're into essential oils right or your, your business and the person that you are all about essential oils and they're entrepreneur killer right the best thing you could find but those don't come around every corner so that is to me the best 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 way to look for it and you need to look and maybe the person that you are looking for is not the person that hang out in social media groups on essential oils or if it's fitness on fitness or if it's makeup on makeup or, but the person who's more into entrepreneur hanging hanging out in entrepreneurial groups in the business builders person that go to your local meetup or rotary club meeting that might be the people that you should be looking for so that is what i'm sharing with you today now if you are in a network marketing company i want you to judge it or look at it from the perspective of my checklist if you are not into network marketing you're considering or you're just looking for an income opportunity you're a business builder entrepreneur leader like i talked about grab my seven questions that you should first ask that you absolutely should ask um, before you starting a home-based business and this is not just for a home-based business for any business per se and especially for a network marketing business but even if you're looking to build a brick and mortar business and you're going to be using somebody's product or service probably unless it's your own i want you to go look at it and and, and critique it from my seven question checklist that is in the comments below it's also on the front page of rugby dude or johanvenardi.com thank you so much for joining if this gave you some value uh, please share if you agree agree if you don't agree you know absolutely please let me know but tell me why you don't agree if you agree tell me why you agree but i think most of you that's been in the industry for a while have seen this and if you are a new person and you are looking for that leader and builder I'm saying this just so that I don't want you to be disappointed and not be emotionally attached to the outcome. Your likeliness that you're going to find a business builder out of somebody looking for entrepreneurship in a business is better than somebody who's just looking and loving the product. And, and again, I'm not saying that you can't have that. You have to have the person that will use the product and love the product. But as a rule, they are not the type of people that will build your business huge. Uh, because the real true entrepreneurs and especially in network marketing doesn't matter what the product or the service is as long as the opportunity is good they are successful this is Johan van Ardi, online branding coach and mentor and social entrepreneur network marketer signing off take care i'll see you around